Hey everybody, Chris here. So how to synchronize the rep lever and the jack. So here I have the uh, drop screw set artificially high. There is no drop. So this shows you the first condition is the jack will go forward and then up see that forward then up when it contacts the rep lever so forward up right there you can see that one really clear forward and then up okay now I'm going to set the drop screw really low so you can see when there's too much drop what the jack does in the window let me check make sure that's a lot of drop yeah that's way too much drop okay so now in this case you'll see that the jack goes up and then forward up and then forward up and forward one more time up and forward so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the screw and visually go by when I think I'm pretty close and drop okay there I'm pretty close so now let's look and see what the jack is doing oh that's pretty good right there it's going in a nice straight line yep let me turn it down some just where I'm a little off and see what that does there we go now it's going up and forward and I'm gonna turn it the other one's harder to see so I'm gonna go to where there's no drop just a little bit no drop <laughs> there's a little bit of drop let me turn a quarter turned where there's so now the uh, drop screw is too high so let's see what that does see how that's easy to see yep forward and then up a little harder to see but there is there we go and then up Okay, so now I'm going to turn it back to where I think the drop was just right. right. Right about there. And let's check it. Uh, it's maybe still a little forward. Yeah, a little forward. No, let me turn it down some more. Oh, there we go. There we go. So see, that's the most efficient path for the jack to get out from under the knuckle. And then that way the player feels connected to the hammer. All right. Thanks for watching.